Hey guys, I'm Bob and welcome to the Math Man channel and today we're going to calculate the squares of the four digits value real fast and in order to do so you need to uh, actually refer to the uh, past two videos where I talk about calculating the squares of the three digit values and the squares of the two digit values in order to tackle this kind of problems. So without further ado, let us take a look at some of the tricks okay, that you can actually work out okay, in order to calculate the squares of the four digit values real fast. Alright, so our first example is to calculate the squares of 2002. What I need to do, first thing that you need to do is to uh, square the beginning digits. In this case, my beginning digits is 2, so we have 2 square that gives you 4. Alright, so that it will be the beginning digits down here, so it is 4. And the next thing that you need to do, step number 2, you take the last 3 digits and you square. Okay, so in this case, that is 002. So 002 is equals to uh, 2 and uh, you square it, so 2 squared is equal to 4. But when you write it down here itself, you have to write in terms of the last 3 digits, so in this case will be 0, 0, 4. Okay, instead of just putting 4 down there, because uh, this is a bit different. And last but not least, okay, we will take the first digit itself, which is in this case 2, okay, and we multiply by the last 3 digits, which is in this case 0, 0, 2, that is 2, and we multiply by the power itself, okay, which is in this case 2, and that gives you 8. Alright, but the thing is that when you write down the answer itself, instead of putting just 8 alone, you have to put 0, 0, 8. So here's the final answer, 2, 0, 0, 2 square um, gives you 4, 0, 0, 8, 0, 0, 4, and here is the answer to uh, the question itself using our calculator, so the answer is the same. Alright, so the next example will be to solve, okay, 1052. So how do you actually solve it? The first thing that you need to do is to actually square the beginning value. In this case, is 1. So 1 square is equals to 1, and that is the beginning value. Alright, the next value that you need to do is to square the last three digits of this value, which is in this case 052. So we square 52. So how do we square 52? Well, back in our first video itself, we, because 52 itself is uh, very close to 50 and we set 50 as the base okay so first thing that we need to do when we calculate this uh, 52 squares is actually to um, square this 5 itself so 5 square gives you 25 and after which what you need to do is to find the distance between 52 and 50 and you realize that 52 is 2 more than 50 so you add okay uh, 2 to 25 itself okay that will give you 27 which is in this case that will give you the first two digit of the value okay and what you need to do after that is to square uh, the 2 itself or the difference between 52 and 50 which is in this case 2 and that gives you 4 so this is, a, this is the answer to 52 squares so in this case itself okay we know that 52 squares is 2704 and in the way that we write okay that we can only insert the last three digit of the number, so that is 704, and the 2 will be put like this, alright? And last but not least, okay, what we do is that we will multiply the first digit of the value itself, in this case is 1, times the last three digit, which is in this case 52, okay? And times the power is just which, uh, itself, okay, which is in this case 2, and that gives you 104. So in the way that okay, we are supposed to write, okay, is we, we will fill in like this. And last but not least, we will sum it all up. We will take this plus this, okay, and that gives you the final answer. 1052 square is equals to 1104704 one, plus 2000. That is 1106704. One, one, okay, a look at a calculator. Uh, using the calculator, we will be able to find out that it is the same answer. Okay, 1052 square, that is 1106704. Okay, the next example will be to actually solve this 4215 square. The first thing that you need to do is to actually square the first digit of the value itself, which is in this case 4. So 4 square gives you 16. Alright, so my first two digits is actually 16. All right. The next thing that you can do is to uh, you need to do is actually square this two hundred and fifteen. Okay, the last three digit of the value, so it's two hundred and fifteen squared. So the next question is, how do you actually go about solving two hundred and fifteen squares? Okay, as you can, uh, as you refer to the second video itself. Okay, what we do when we solve two hundred and fifteen squares is that okay, it's the same thing. We will take the first digit itself and we square it. Okay, so 
the first thing that we will do here is that we take the first digit, which is in this case 2, and we square it, so that will give you 4, correct? Okay, so that is the first digit, okay? And what we do is that the next step that we will do is that we will take the, okay, uh, we will take the last two digit and we square it. So 15 square is what? Okay, 15 square is just 225, okay? And but the thing is that when we write down the answer itself, you okay, can only include it, include the two digit itself, and we put this two on top. And last but not least, what we do is that we will take the first digit, okay, and we t multiply by the last two digit, and we multiply by okay the power itself, okay, and that is two times fifteen times two that gives you sixty. And that that will be the last the two digits that you will include in, and we know that we have to add these two up, okay, in the in the second video. And two hundred and fifteen gives you what forty six thousand two hundred and twenty five, okay. So we know that okay, twenty two one five square is actually what four six two two five. But the thing is that we can only include the three values two two five in this form and the forty six to to be put on top just like this. And last but not least, we will multiply okay the first digit four times two one five okay times two okay. So this will be a pretty big value. Eh? I, well, okay. And when we calculate itself, is zero four and this is two one sixteen seventeen. So it's one thousand seven hundred and twenty. So let me just calculate and it is correct okay and okay so how do we include it in okay same thing we all can only include the last three digits in this form and this uh, one itself will be put on top okay so after which we will add on the zeros just like this and we add everything up okay so we know that four two one five square is equals to what okay seven one seven seven six six two two five okay and we used our calculator to solve and this is the value four two one five square is one seven seven six six two two five all right subscribe to this channel for more math tricks and uh, i'm bob and signing on from this video we'll see you in the next video goodbye guys